Okay, it's uh, July 18, or June 18, 2022, and uh, we've had a little sleepless night around here, and uh, maybe we've calmed down a little bit, maybe not, but uh, yesterday this uh, little 52 Dodge V3D 126 flatbed truck uh, was delivered up here to our home, Paonia. And uh, both Judy and I were pretty angry. And uh, I'm going to try to calm down and explain this over some time. See if we can uh, see how we feel about this later. Uh, of course, this is a screen. I don't expect you to see it. It's my computer screen. And... Uh, I'll read the title for you, 52 Dodge V3D flat 126 flatbed truck from Orville Proctor, Delta, Colorado. So this is my record of what all I've spent on this truck. And I don't expect you to see it, because I can barely see it. But let's see what I can read off here. We'll try to do this as calmly and collectively as we can do it. And we got a history of this machine, if I can read it. So, I'm going to have to get in a little closer because I can't see. Getting old. All right. So, I purchased that truck, uh, 4-30-2005, from Orville down there in Delta. <coughs> Drove it home. How about that? 60 miles. Paid $3,000 for it. And that's where it starts. And then I did insurance and all that. Some Barnes and Noble and some foolishness on the eBay. And of course, this was a long time ago. This was the first old truck that I bought. <coughs> You'll have to excuse the clear in my throat. I've had uh, radiation and chemotherapy for uh, cancer. So I got some uh, issues. Anyhow, so there's 07, 08. I drove it around. Did some repairs on it. Paid for insurance. Oh, here we go. 2009. 2009. Comprehensive. 2008. Comprehensive only. All right, so that's 2007, so I drove it for a couple of years. And then, uh, so I spent a few <coughs> So I spent a few thousand dollars on it. And then, uh, It gets parked starting in 2010 for sure nothing happening didn't even renew the re it had five-year plates so 2008 it got parked yeah And here we go, 2016. So, as of, oh, 2008, let's see what this says over here. Total cost to date, almost $10,000 I'd spent on that machine. And then I just, a little bit every year for the insurance. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Now, 2022, it had been sitting around here. I hadn't even, there's nothing in there from 2016 to 2022. Six years, it had been sitting in the barn. 
And uh, I got a telephone call, says from Witch Rod Shop, saying hey, we're ready to start work on the truck. Okay, so now we're going to, we're going to go full bore on this because Judy wanted to see one of these things done. So, here we go. Here's all the money we spent in 2022. And my total cost for this year, right there, $74,276. And I had about 10000 in it before. So my total, right under 86000 Now, that's why you can see maybe Judy and I are a little upset. But I am, I'm, I'm more than upset. I'm, I'm not only am I angry and I'm upset, but I feel foolish because uh, I convinced Judy that we should spend seventy-five thousand dollars on this old truck because she wanted one, see one finished. And unfortunately, Judy spent most of the money, so I feel really really embarrassed I feel like I got taken and I don't know how else to explain it but there's there's the problem right there I got a base cost on this thing about three thousand dollars so <clears throat> the rest of it you know going up to 85 or 10,000 over this one is is repairs and maintenance and insurance and God knows what else I spent on a stupid truck. But there's the issue that really bothers us, you know, seventy almost seventy five thousand dollars. Now we're gonna go outside later after I get cleaned up and feel a little better. I'm not feeling the greatest, so I'll have to make this in parts. But we're gonna go outside and we're gonna take a look at this truck and see what the hell I got for seventy five thousand dollars this year okay so until then we'll see you later